Hello everybody! Today we're going to be doing a LEGO Star Wars set review. The 75298 AT-AT versus Tauntaun Microfighters. It has 205 pieces. Comes with two awesome minifigures. One returning. And then we have a new, obviously, Luke Skywalker there. This is the Series 8 Microfighters. I can see there with that white little box are on the bottom with some graveling, which is really cool. And then obviously those two builds there are the star of the show or the minifigures are the star of the show for you. Side, more stuff, I guess, nothing important. But then on the back side, you have Luke and the at, -AT driver off of their little rides there. We do have the collection here. We do have Han Solo who is by himself, what a lonely guy. Then we have these two fighting each other. Then this set also does come with two booklets, which is very interesting. As you can see, I have opened this. I've had this for like a year now. Now let's get into the box. And in this set, we do have two instruction manuals. We're going to start off with the at, -AT which is number one. We do have that little scan part. So the at, -AT is off to the left instead of in the middle. So it looks a little odd. But it's just a bag for each little mini bill, which is really cool. There's about at least... 50 steps I think in here I don't know but here's some advertising of more of the 2020 2021 sets which is really really cool and then coming up to the other side we just have more of the characters what's in it everything there's a Skywalker saga that got delayed here we have Luke's Tauntaun and obviously Luke himself obviously it's just a bag for each then we have no advertising and then in the back it's just the back box art. So those are the two instruction manuals. The first minifigure that we have is Luke Skywalker, obviously in his Hoth outfit. It looks really, really cool. We do have his blue lightsaber there. He also comes with a stud shooter for playability for kids. Because otherwise, I mean, the builds are just plain. There's no stud shooters attached or anything like that. So that's why the characters come with stud shooters. He does have that really cool face there. He's like, um, happy, I guess, for defeating the at, -AT. His torso is also pretty good. We have the legs down here. We have some different printing on each side. And then we do also do have two little lines. So I guess that does count as waist printing. We do have the little helmet here, I guess, with those little uh, white visors that you can obviously just take off and then attach it to Luke's face. I'm sorry. I'm very much blocking it there. But like that. There you go. He's out in the snow. In the back, you can really do see his second facial expression. You can see that chin. Doesn't look good. They just shouldn't include a second face, but that's him. That, to me, that honestly does not look like a good face to me, to be honest. But when he is fighting, I'm just going to give you guys a little example. He does look mad about fighting that at, -AT driver, so it kind of does make a little sense there. And then in the back, we just have more of his belt. And then just plain old printing there. And that'll be the Luke Skywalker minifigure. And here we have the last and final minifigure, the at, -AT driver. He's the same one from the 2020 at, -AT set, which is $160, by the way. This retail for $20. Um, he does come with that stud shooter, as I said, you know, for play features. He does come with electro binoculars so he can scout for Luke Skywalker. This is the same minifigure, everything, the helmet, the torso, everything. The face is the same as well, one of the two faces. So there's just nothing new about this minifigure. It's the same as the TIE Fighter helmet, except for the at, -AT. And this will be the last minifigure. This was obviously the first bag. And here we have the at, -AT Micro Fighter. It is really cool. We're going to start head on first. Do have those two side cannons as alongside with the bottom ones, which in the big AT, -AT sets can have spring loaded shooters, but same here as for cannons. We have that awesome windshield piece with that nice dark gray. Well, yeah, dark gray as I can see from there. That little windshield piece where they look out. The neck is very secure with that ball joint little piece there, so you can move it around pretty freely. We have the legs which also can move on move around pretty freely. Wow, it's a dog. I can't believe it. So yeah, you can put it in some cool positions. Makes sense for for smaller kids, you know, to just position the legs differently. But then on the top, we do have a control panel. And then the seat for that AT-AT -AT driver, which I'm going to show you in a second. But we just have to have some little blocky little parts that make it look very cool to the movie. And then we also in the back, we have a little grill piece, the feet, and then the butt of it. But it, these big old pieces make it look like it's 
you know, well-built, chunky. That's how it is in the movie. So yeah, this is a pretty cool micro fighter. Oh, dang it. Now time to seat this ATAT -AT driver. It's pretty simple, no studs, fantastic. So you can just slip them in there. And then there you go. You got your cool little battle scene there. And then you can just take them off easily like that. And then bag two was the Tauntaun build. And here it is. It is very adorable from all angles. The thing that makes it adorable is these cute little hands. It just makes it look like it has like little baby hands that you can just move around freely that make it look adorable. Now coming out to the face, those eyes are really cool. Those are the same ones as the brick heads if I do, oh, except for another little dot. So they just took away a little dot. But those horns too are really cool. They almost look like ram horns, which is awesome. And that face also makes it really adorable. Then here we do have like a little saddle here. It's technically just like a horse, except it's on a tauntaun. And you have this little like grayish little saddle here or whatever that piece is. But we do have a clip for Luke's lightsaber there. The feet are like dinosaur feet, which is really cool. We do have those tan claws there to so then the if it was gray, then they wouldn't blend in easily. We have that tail which is movable to a point until it hits that brick. Fair enough. You don't want it to go too far because you don't want to make it look like it's pooping, I guess. Here, I have no idea what this is, but it's a nice little detail to be there. Obviously, it's probably in the movie. We do have white electro binocular, bin, bin, uh, binoculars. So then, well, I had trouble there. To look out for the AT-80 -AT driver. And then it's just symmetrical on both sides. You have clip, everything. So it's just all the same, except obviously putting on different sides. Now let's suit up Luke Skywalker. All right, well, time to suit up Luke Skywalker. So we're just going to put Luke Skywalker in a seating posi position like so. Set him down here, just like so. And then we're going to flip the hands over as like this. It's a little, it's going to be a little work, but you know it'll be all fine at the end. Then we just connect that little holster there. And then boom, you have Luke Skywalker saddling. The, the Tauntaun. Then obviously on the other side, that's where you can set his lightsaber. And then left, we do have his stud shooter, which is a problem because we have both sides already done. And if you don't want to include his stud shooter, well then, where does it go? So yeah, so that's going to be a problem there for the stud shooter. But overall, it's a great little build. Well, everybody, that is going to conclude our set review. This is obviously retired, but on eBay or secondary markets, it's just going to cost about $20. This set obviously does not go for much. So if you guys want this set, you can get it for retail price. I saw one that's for $20. Includes free shipping. If you guys want it, go ahead, buy it now. It is obviously worth it. You get cool, a cool AT-AT, -AT, two minifigures, and that obviously cute Tauntaun Micro Fighters. And I'll see you guys in the next set review. Bye, you little cutie.